In this video, I would like to show you how to manually upgrade your custom kernel in Gentoo Linux. I've been using Gentoo for a while and I usually want to keep my kernel as fresh as possible. And a new kernel just came out, so I thought it might be a wonderful opportunity to actually share with you the way I do it, right? In case someone finds it helpful. And bear in mind that there is quite a lot of stuff to be read about this, so I'm going to leave a relevant link down in the description below. I would recommend you guys to read it. Uh, because it might uh, prevent some unnecessary mistakes from happening and stuff like that. The first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to type in eselect kernel list. This will give me the list of kernels that are currently available on my system. And you can see that I have two kernels. I have the one that I'm currently using, which is the kernel 638, but I would like to upgrade my system to the kernel 639. The first thing that I have to do is to create a symlink that will point to this kernel instead of the old one that I'm using right now. And to do that, I'm going to type in eselect kernel set two, because number two refers to the newer kernel that I would like to use. If I were to type in eselect kernel list again, you can see that the asterisk is now right next to the new kernel, which means that the symlink points to this specific directory. And what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to copy the config files from my old kernel to the new one. And that will save me a lot of time because I don't really want to, you know, re reconfigure everything again from scratch. Therefore, I'm going to cd into user slash source directory and I'm going to copy the config file of the older kernel, which is located in Linux dash three or 638-chentu, and the file is obviously all, uh, called .config. And I'm going to copy that into the new kernel directory, which in this case is just called Linux, thanks to that amazing symlink. Right now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cd into the new kernel directory, and you can see that the config file from the previous kernel is right here. The potential problem with this config file might be that it will not contain any settings for the new features that the new kernel might contain. And that's why we need to create a config file for the new kernel version that will literally copy all of the possible settings from the old config. So that's why I'm going to run make old config. And you can see that in the case of the version 6.3.9, there aren't any changes uh, made to these settings. If they were, it would actually ask you uh, about where you would like to keep those changes or discard them and stuff like that. But that's not really, really relevant. So right now I'm going to build it. I'm going to use make j16 because I have 16 threads to work with. I'm going to type in make modules install and I'm going to type in j16 again and make install and I'm also going to type in drakut because I need to use initramfs um, as well and that's going to use a flag uh, called k version or kernel version and 639-2 and I'm also going to update my bootloader which is grub and that's why i'm going to run this command and i'm going to press enter and it's going to take a while to compile obviously but the point is that once you're done with that you are essentially good to go you can just simply reboot your system and it's going to use the new kernel instead